Hi guys, um, I just wanted to do hopefully a quick video on um, how to use Scan and Cut Canvas. I went ahead and changed my Internet Explorer open page to um, Scan and Cut Canvas because it's really the only reason I ever open Internet Explorer. If you've tried opening it on Mozilla or on Google Chrome, I believe it won't work. You have to use... Um, Internet Explorer. And if you're trying to access it from your iPad, you have to use Safari. So there's not an actual app for it as far as I can tell. All right. So um, whenever you go to the Scan and Cut Canvas website, this should be your front page and it should have the option for you to choose a new account or to log in. And you can stay logged in for seven days so that it, they don't ask you each time or you can just log in each time. I just have my um password saved right there so i'm going to go ahead and click stay logged in and then click log in and it'll come up with all these wonderful um what they call them recipes <laughs> and i think that's so cute they come up with all these recipes for um different stuff that you can do they've got all kinds of projects and they're um, directions are awesome. They're really easy to follow. So they've got a little bit of something for everybody and for everything. They even have some fabric cutting. I haven't tried fabric cutting yet. If you have and you've had success, please leave me a comment and let me know or um, talk about it in the group and let everybody know. Okay, so um, I know most people want Canvas because they want to do their own thing. They want to bring in their own images and work on them. So we're going to go straight to doing that because that can be a whole different video showing you guys how to do the actual ones in there. But <clears throat> like I said, the, the instructions are really easy. Okay, so I clicked on a new project and it's going to bring up a Canvas for me. <coughs> Okay, so it's naturally zoomed out at 32% so you can see what it's going to look like on your mat. See here. Okay, and so over here you have your projects, or things that I've done in the past on here, a couple of the things that I started with. So that was something that a couple little baby things that I made for my cousin that I'm not going to be able to use now because, um, oops because the, the baby is too big for those onesies and I haven't got them sent out yet. So let's go ahead and just open a new one and it'll say leave this page, that's fine because all it's gonna do is basically refresh the page. And I hope it's not this slow for you guys. <laughs> All right, so there's my projects, basic stuff, border, logo, text. A lot of this stuff is um, everything that you have on your machine already. So like a basic, let's see, what do they have? So it doesn't have any of the like fun designs like the trees and, and leaves and things like that. But um, from what I can remember. But it has all the borders and stuff like that. So there's all, all that fun stuff. Logo, I think that that is like words that they've already created. Yes. Okay, so, you know, Christmas is coming up. You can use any of this stuff. And let's see, text is... The um, fonts in there, the fonts you already have on your machine, and then there's some more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You, yeah, I don't want to count all this, but you see, there's a lot. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's go ahead and bring something in. So, like, say you have a JPG, um, you're going to want to come up here to image tracing and choose file and I don't know what I'm going to use yet 
huh, let's use the tree. I have to make this for a friend of mine's kitchen anyways. Okay, so you're going to always want to see the preview because the, the um, what do you call it? Default is going to be outline and colors. That might not always work for what you're trying to do. So go ahead and preview it. <clears throat> and it looks like it got around everything perfectly. So we don't really have to change anything. But say it didn't cut, you know, the blue didn't go around some of these. Then you might want to decrease the colors, um, you know, change that so it traces the colors because there might be pixels and stuff going on in there that need you to be able to recognize that or the software to recognize it. So you have to push color. There's so many different things that could cause that. So just play around with this outline if you don't get the perfect outline the first time. Okay, so let's just click OK now. Okay, so there's my awesome looking tree. I think that's so cool. Okay, so now if I want to send it to my machine, I actually use this tree for um, a family uh, family potluck we had, and we just we all had a bunch of leaves on another sheet. And I use contact paper for all of this, but um, a bunch of little green leaves, and then you just write your name on the leaf and put your name on the tree, and so tree has everybody's name on it. It's really cute. So before sending it to the um, machine, which I need to go hook up, um, before sending it to the machine, you want to give it a title. So we're going to call it tree and we're going to click download. And now I don't have my machine hooked up yet. So it's saying that it's not, okay, download to PC. Okay, I forgot. This is how it goes. <laughs> All right, so you don't have to have your machine hooked up yet, but you can't do anything just yet unless you have the wireless functionality set up. So you're going to click Save. And then Open Folder. And then you're going to want to take tree and move it into the <coughs> oh my goodness excuse me okay so if you don't have your machine hooked up you're not going to see the removable disc over here on your left hand side and that's what you're looking for to be able to put your tree in Okay, so I'm going to go grab my machine. I'm going to hook it up and hopefully it'll come up on the machine. I want to do it like this so that you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so hold on. Alrighty, so now I'm about to plug in the machine. I'm going to turn the machine off. I had it on so I could undo the mat. Okay, I'm going to plug it in and then turn on the machine. Okay, so it looks like you have to press the home button to get it to do its thing. Okay, so here's the removable disc. I'm going to take tree. I can take it from here and put it right into there, or I can also drag it over to there. Or, for all of us old schoolians, you can right click, copy, and paste in there. So I'm going to go ahead, oops. I'm going to go ahead and drag it right into the removable disk. Okay, and then I'm going to set up my tripod and I'm going to show you guys how it looks on the machine. So thanks for joining me. Hold on just a couple seconds and I will be back in um, video form with the machine to show you where Tree is now. Alrighty, thanks so much. Okay guys, I'm at my machine and we're going to choose, <clears throat> preferably with your stylus, you want to choose the pattern button and then the save data and then if you have it saved on a little stick, 
This is where you're going to choose it and your stick will be coming out the right hand side of your machine. Um, you're going to choose if it's on the machine or from your computer and we're going to choose computer and there is our tree right there. So that's exactly what we want. We're going to click OK and now here we can add um, wording to it. We can make it bigger, make it smaller, all that stuff. So let's see, let's see if we can make it any bigger, that would be cool. Oh, very cool. And we can also change the side, we can change the, we can flip it. <laughs> and we can just flip it a little bit if we want. And let's see. Here, this one is kind of fun because you can, um, this turns off, okay, so if you have this on, when you make it big or small, the whole thing moves, right? But if you click on this one, it only makes it wider, and that would make it taller. So you get to choose, and you get to move it, you know, you can make it shorter and taller but at your own specific dimensions and this is the fill tool if you're going to use your pen it would fill it in so I showed you how to do the cutting yesterday today I'm just going to show you the pen real quick so the pen would fill in all of these spots you click OK and then whenever you go into let's see I think in here you can choose how to fill it so we can fill it with stripes, a grid, some diamonds, some more thicker diamonds. So let's do that. Click OK and it should fill that in with diamonds whenever it draws it in. And then we would click draw and it's telling us it's going to take about 10 minutes for it to draw this whole thing. We don't really want to do that because I don't have pens to do that and I don't really want to do that. So let's just go back out. Let's go into here, go back into here, choose no fill, click OK, OK, and then OK, and then we would normally hit cut. And this tells us it's only going to take two minutes to cut the whole thing out. So, alrighty guys, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I think the next video I'm going to show you guys how to update your machine because mine didn't come with the, clo the newest update. And since I've got the update, it tells us now how long it's going to take the cut. I think that's so awesome. And the fill pattern thing is new. I don't know what else is new because I am a beginner as well. So um, if you know of other things, please let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.